artist and what's it say? Oh, karate. Okay. Yeah, it says karate. So it's uh, so it was karate, but he just had a very quick rise and, and fall. It seemed like mm-hmm. so like he's oh he's the greatest and then just done. <laughs> right. And like never come back from it. Yeah. Right. That's something. George's Saint Pierre did really well as he stuck around. He well he he got out while he was still in his prime actually. They held on though for mm-hmm. a while. You yeah. know. I think Machida had a quicker fall. Right. I mean he was just like in champion out. <laughs> right. But like George's Saint Pierre, he left on a win. You know what I'm right. saying? He won a fight and he uh, left and he was just done. He's like, I'm done. I'm that totally is also done. debatable whether he won that fight. Because according yeah. to Dana White, he lost that fight. Oh, yeah. So he outstruck. That was Henderson, was it? right? Mm, Brown? Oh, was it? I think so. I thought it was Dan Henderson. Because that was Not his Dan last. Henderson. Um, uh, yeah, definitely. The other him. Henderson. You know what I'm talking about? The guy with the beard. He had a beard and wore glasses. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, no. All right, let's no, see. Hendricks. That's a Jimmy Hendrix. Hendricks. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, which that was his last championship title shot. Mm-hmm. Uh, when he lost that one, he never he never was able to get another shot. Yeah. I don't believe. Um, but yeah, he. Uh, but he held the t- he held the title for a long time, mm-hmm. and then he did come back, uh, and went up a weight class, right? And and won. Uh, that because that British guy had it. Uh, Count. Bisping? Bisping. Mm-hmm. The Count Bisping, yeah. So he actually had the title, and he come back and beat Bisping for the title. Right, and that was yeah. it, and then he left. Right, <laughs> so, yeah. Like Because he wanted to like prove that he could be champ champ as well, because right. that all of a sudden became real big to right. be champ champ. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yeah, so I don't know. It just... Is this how we're going to start it? Yeah. <laughs> it is uh, already talking halfway. We were oh, talking yeah, I need to get a drink do you not that we need to pop but i just need one <laughs> okay you can talk bad about me behind my back these are already going in and out oh really yeah i actually they just went out and i don't hear anything anymore well anything happened to you this week <laughs> <laughs> this week or just since we podcasted last this specific week this specific week uh yeah so i bench pressed over 400 pounds for the first time so I got 405 for a one rep max, and I found out that my knee doesn't hurt if I do standard deadlift instead of sumo. Huh. Okay. So, um, very possibly potentially doing more competitions. Cool. I still Great. can't squat. Probably won't squat, but uh, push pull. So. Okay. Cool. A new um, motorcycle. What? <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, that's cool. Just, just sprinkle that in real quick. <laughs> uh, yeah. Nothing nothing for me. Nothing? All right. yeah. Did the brakes on my car. Woo! Hey, new brakes. Yeah, new brakes. <laughs> now, we know, new brakes. now we know Jason can stop. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, warranty. Got him, got him for free, he dog. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> um. Well, you got topics, so popping bottles in the club. Oh, I forgot to send you my topics. That's all right. Well, you've got plenty. It got sounds so like, and we got stuff. questions plenty, so we can just forget about my topics for now. Okay. Oh no. So, so we got questions here, and uh, what is a non-mainstream conspiracy theory that you believe? So. So, anything confirmed or wildly accepted? Or widely accepted? Is that what it means? Like, That's yeah. what it says. So, anything confirmed, which, I mean, that wouldn't be a conspiracy theory, I guess. Well, I mean, I guess it he's could saying, be. He's saying it's, is there anything you believe that's not widely, con- like, isn't confirmed and widely accepted? Like, right. Like, a conspiracy theory that's actually a conspiracy theory that you believe. Right. You know what I mean? Not like, yeah. yeah. I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't know what's if some of them that I think are wildly accepted or not. I, one of them for sure is definitely starting to become wildly accepted. 
Okay. What's that? Well, it's the whole COVID deal. Oh, well, yeah. That one's finally, like, like on Saturday Night Live and, like, on everything now. Like, everybody's on board, you know, finally. Yeah. But, um, I don't know. I think uh, JFK was killed by our government. I don't know. Is that widely accepted? Right. That's a definitely a popular one. I don't know if it's widely accepted, though. I think that's absolutely true. Um, I, I do, too. Yeah. I don't know. So... There's gonna be a lot of people probably be mad about this one because if you go the other way, go the other way pretty strong. I I'm not a hundred percent sure about the whole 9/11 incident. To be honest, the conspiracy theory people are starting to sway me for war sure. Really? Well, just because of the the way the buildings fall, both of them fall straight down. Mm-hmm. Um, you know. And there was a bunch of files that supposedly went missing and a bunch of money that supposedly went missing. You know, there's a lot of, like, weird things that also happen that, like, now, if they're like, hey, we got to get the, you know, got to get these documents out, and that's why they're missing, if they would just come out and say that, that's fine, but they just consider them missing. Right. And then huh. the whole situation, then the, during that day when the one plane crashed to the octagon, it just happened to hit the the spot that had all the files mm. so it's like it's just really weird how things kind of came together and i also have a hard time believing that a plane full of people who they, they use so these was it six six guys that took over plane i, I can't really remember I now i don't know regardless if i'm on a plane and people stand up and take over the plane I'm going to, they're going to kill me, right? I mean, I'm going to, especially if I'm like with my kids and wife, like I'm not going down like that. So how does a whole plane full of Americans just, okay, whatever guys, you know, do whatever you want. I mean, I just, it's, I mean, obviously it happened, but it's, it's just weird that all they have is box cutters. You guys aren't going to take a chance from a box cutter to take these guys out. Right. Well, did they know they were going to crash, though? You know what I mean? You have to assume that's what's going to happen. You have to assume. They're taking over the plane. There's not a good ending. (laughs) Right. There's not. Right, right, right. A guy that comes in to rob a bank and has a gun, and then the cops get there before he can leave, the ending's not good, ever. Right. So, So if you're on a plane and somebody takes it over, there's no good possible ending. It's being crashed, shot down. They're going to crash accidentally. Because they're trying to get away. I mean, where, right. where, how, play the scenario in your head. He's not going to go, okay, and then softly land the plane on the tarmac, and you guys are just going to go home. It's not, it's not going to happen. Right. Now, granted, maybe people were just in denial. They're right. like, oh, well, maybe we'll get out of this. I'm just, I'm telling you right now, if I'm on a plane, if I'm on anything like that or in that situation, I'm fighting because there's just, there's no good ending. Right. Right. Yeah. I don't know. I haven't studied 9-11 at all. I don't really know don't, anything about don't it. Don't go down that wormhole. It's awful. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I never had. And I just, because, I mean, I was totally on board with uh, what we were being sold. And it still may be true. I don't, that's the problem with conspiracy theories. Right. There's enough evidence to possibly sway you the other way. But without 100% confirmation on any of that, you just, it's it's hard to... You don't want to think your government is involved in anything that possibly killed Americans. But they have been before, so why not now? Right. Yep. Or why not then? You know, so it's, I don't know, it's it's tough. You don't want to think that, you know, we're going to do that to our own people. But, I mean, obviously it happens. So, I don't know. It's That one's a tough one. Yep. Well, you, you have any conspiracy theories that... May not be accepted. I was trying to think of any. Do you know? Do you have to believe in any at all? Any conspiracy theories? I mean, well, I mean, I agree with you on the Kennedy thing, but okay. So that one may be widely accepted. Yeah, it is pretty widely accepted, I think. So I mean, so put it this way: if our government's willing, oh, Epstein (laughs) is very widely accepted. (laughs) Yeah, that one definitely is. I mean, but put it this way, even if, you know, going to that far, you know, if our government, our FBI is willing to 
shoot the president? Why not anything? Else? You know what I mean? That I mean, that's pretty far already. Yep. You know, and the so like digging it further in this hole. So I was watching a thing where I think it was Schumer had warned Donald Trump when he's becoming president to not basically talk bad about the FBI. It was like warning, like oh, you better stop, or he's gonna wind up dead, or they're gonna, you know, yeah. And that was before like a bunch of other stuff, you know, went down. But it's like. So who really runs the United States at this point? Yeah. It's obviously not the president. Yeah, it's and definitely. And if the NF and if Schumer and them are afraid of the FBI, then maybe it's not even Congress. You know. Right. <laughs> yeah, I think it's the FBI and CIA run it's, it's crazy, everything, man. Pretty much, yeah. It's nuts. They're it's almost it's almost like turning into the mob. Yeah. yeah like pretty the much. Russian mob. Yeah. Pretty much. It's like the same thing, but Americanized. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I was listening to this uh, stand-up comedian and he's talking to his friend and his friend goes, you know, he goes, he doesn't believe in any conspiracy theories whatsoever. Like, none. And he, and he goes, he goes, none of them? He's like, he goes, I don't believe in all of them, but, but so you believe the government's batting a hundred? Like, telling <laughs> us everything that's going on? Right. He's like the 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 go. You know they're ahead of millions of people that they have to try to kind of keep under control to a point. Right. Mm -hmm. Don't want them freaking out. You know, so not going to tell you everything. He's like, he goes, I got one son, and I lie to him all the time. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Right. (laughs) All right. If all basketball players were in an area and had to fight to the death, who would win? Probably Draymond Green. Because I know he's done a lot of fighting in his life. And he's pretty tough cookie, too. I don't know enough basketball players to make a, a judgment call. Um, uh, Giannis. <laughs> sure. I mean, big guy. I so <laughs> maybe my my top three picks. My top three picks would definitely be Draymond Green, Russell Westbrook, and Jimmy Butler. I feel like Westbrook's too small. He is pretty small. That's true. Because I mean, all these guys you got to think are top athletes. So all yeah. of them are, all of them are strong. All of them are fast. I think Westbrook's just a little bit on the small side. You get one of these bigger guys could probably take him out. Yeah. Definitely, definitely Green and Butler, though. Uh, Yeah, okay. Just because the reason I say that is just because of how they grew up and stuff, too. And I know that they fought a lot. Yeah. And they're also tough players as well. Right. Okay. uh, I'd give it to them. Okay. I'll just agree. (laughs) I mean, I I don't have anything to back up a disagreement. (laughs) (laughs) You got to go with big... Like you said, though, too, like the biggest person has the best chance right. as well. Right. Definitely for sure. I mean, because they're so massive. It's not just picking like the tall guy of a fight or a bigger right. guy in the fight. Like these guys are massive and yeah. they're extreme athletes. Yeah. So it's not like you're like, oh, he could be athletic. They're all athletic. Right. So they're all got a chance. Well, if you go with the heaviest, we got Zion Williamson. It's a big dude. Yeah. And he can move like a. It's like Shaq right. in the early days. He could move. He could run. I mean, yeah. I wouldn't pick Shaq now. <laughs> yeah, no. <His laughs> I mean, they'd be able to run behind him and hit him before you <laughs> turn around, probably. Uh, let's see. So I guess we're sticking with basketball. In your opinion, who is the greatest basketball player to ever live? Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan. It's yes, absolutely. Not... We have to agree to that one. Definitely. Uh, All right. To expound on that. Um, well, who's your number two? Because I know it's not going to be LeBron. <laughs> the The problem is when you get away, for me, because I don't watch as much as you do, I don't know stats as much as you do, it becomes who do I like second most? Uh-huh. Well, that works for me. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so it's, it's going to be Scottie Pippen, which I know his stats are nowhere near anybody's <laughs> for the second greatest of all time. He's not even in the talks. The problem is I'm a huge Bulls fan and was a huge Bulls fan growing up, and that's, you know, Pippen, Rodman, Michael. They, you know, that was the team when I was growing up. Mm-hmm. So, unfortunately, those are my favorite players. I see. And I didn't – I don't watch it enough 
now. Um, if I had to pick more of a current, I mean, I'd go Curry because I really like Curry. And it seems like he can shoot literally anywhere. He could be 10 foot back from the three point and still sink one. So it's, yeah. he's dangerous anywhere on the floor. Um, man, like a true second, like that could have stats. Larry Bird? <laughs> I mean, maybe. I, I don't know. I don't know enough on stats. What about you? So, statistically, my number two is going to be LeBron. But, <sighs> since we don't want to talk about him, my number three, statistically, is going to be Kareem, actually, I think. Yeah. Um. But if you talk, so if you talk to NBA players, so I watched this video where, like, a, this guy, he gathered every single time an NBA player said who they thought the greatest was, and he took, you know, every single one he could find in every interview at any time, and they, there were two players that, um, well, it was... You know, MJ, LeBron, MJ, LeBron. It was about two to one MJ, LeBron. Okay. And then in third place, in close, and, you know, like the only one that had more than like one or two was Kobe. Actually. Which is surprising because statistically, like he's not super. He's top 10, mm-hmm. but he's not like top five. Or, right. You know what I mean? But they, that's who NBA players consider to be the best. You know, like, they they would say that he's the best player, like, the most complete player, but he wasn't as athletic as Jordan. So, like, right. he had only a 38-inch vertical, and Michael Jordan had a 48-inch vertical, you know, but Kobe still did all that Kobe did, you know. And I don't know, they, and they feared Kobe Bryant a lot. <laughs> well, see, and I, I was going to say, the, you know, the stuff that I have listened to about Kobe, like people talked about Kobe, <clears throat> is – it's kind of similar to Michael mm-hmm. in the sense of the attitude and the, you know, they said, you know, he'd be first to practice. Everybody be out and he would still stay out there shooting. Yeah. You know, and it's, it doesn't, it didn't matter, you know, and, and same thing like, you know, oh, you're going to talk bad about me. So I'm, I'm, I'm defending you. I'm playing you this game, you know? And, yeah. And, and so he kind of had the same mentality as Michael in mm-hmm. a, in a roundabout way. I'm sure there's some differences. But as far right. as that goes, as far as wanting to be the best and trying yeah. to put yourself in that position, it's similar. Yeah. So, They're, so like, jo- that's the thing about Jordan and Kobe that's very different from LeBron is I feel like they're, like, two of the most competitive people ever. Right. Where I feel like LeBron is not. <laughs> no. He's incredibly and- gifted. So, but I don't feel he's nearly as competitive or driven, you know. So we, I will put this in, in the same thing as uh, what I talked about with Jesse for fighting. You know, is LeBron good? Yes, his stats are there. So, but he just, he, he, it's hard to root for him because of those things. He's mm-hmm. not a leader on the court. He got fouled, didn't get called. He threw a fit like a kid. Went down to his knees, smacking the court floor like a little kid throwing a fit. Because he didn't get the call. Yeah. Okay, he didn't get the call. Move on, man. <laughs> I mean, it, it sucks. I I get it. You know, I watch. <laughs> you know, I watched sports back in the day before they had instant replay and challenging and all this stuff. And if they missed a call, they missed a call, and that was that was it. it was yeah. Just, you couldn't do anything about it other than, oh, I can't believe they missed that call, and that was it, and it sucked. Yeah. But now you know, got challenges and instant replay and all this other stuff. You know to. Which I understand they're trying to make sure they make all the calls. It's still human error. You're still yeah. gonna miss some. But in you know losing a game, walking off, leaving your team. I mean, just those are the things that make me dislike somebody. I mean, you are supposed to be the best. So we, you know, in my opinion, I expect the best from you. Right. I mean, we all make mistakes, but I mean, when it's every time he's on the court, it's awful. Yes. Yeah. I saw a comment today that said uh, it was like showing LeBron throwing a fit or something. It was like, mm-hmm. it was like, 
Yeah, I remember I used to cry at the end uh, after losing a basketball game, too. I was six, but, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and that's, you know, that's that's the problem, you know. I just it's, it's hard to sit here and say that they're the best or, you know, second or top five when they're just an awful person. Right. You know, it's like, man. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe for me, part of it is jealousy. You know, they, <laughs> they're, they're that good. They're a pro. They're, you know, they're getting all this. They have wealth, fame, all this stuff going around. And then they're just an awful person. Right. You know, maybe it's part of that. I don't know, but I just, I can't, <laughs> I can't do it. I see what you mean. Yeah. Um, what the heck? I had a great thought and now I lost it. Dang it. Was it really that great if you lost it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Whatever. It was really funny what I was going to say. and I. Uh. Oh, right. That's what it was. I was going to say, have you ever seen the that video of LeBron like pretending that he invented the deluxe album? No, like, I have it's, it's just something else. Really? Yeah, he's like in a studio with... Uh, who the heck is it? Uh, I picture the person but i can't remember t-pain and you know he's like in the studio with him for some reason i don't know why and he's like hear me out i've got this idea what if like we we put like 10 songs on the album right supposed to be 10 songs on the album and we just hold like these three back and then after the album drops and people are like rocking with it. And then we drop these other three so they can rock a little longer. And you're just like, yeah, like what everyone's been doing for years. <laughs> like, like he's doing it like it's some brand oh. new idea that no one's ever thought of before. It's like, why don't, why don't yeah, a, a deluxe shoe? album. <laughs> yeah, you ever heard of it? <laughs> and and T Pain sitting there going like, yeah, I like it. I like it. It's like, yeah, everyone likes it. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, of course, yeah. <laughs> Play, hear me out. I don't, I, we record five songs and put them all on a CD instead of just one. It's like, really? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it's almost like a, a Will Ferrell skit. Like right. thinking you come up with something that's already been invented for yeah. a long time. <laughs> You didn't give all of this question, unfortunately. Oh, what is, which one is it? Because I... Right, so I did read all of it. Um, if every city's mas- every sports team mascots, if, that's, if every city they're from had like hundreds of that mascot show up in their city, which town would be the worst off and the best off, you know, or the best off. Huh. Worst off, I'm going to say the Browns. <laughs> Cleveland, yeah, Cleveland. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Cle- who else, what else is in Cleveland? Cleveland Cavaliers. Indians. Cleveland Indians. Well, are, they, are they still Indians? The Browns and the Indians. <laughs> I had to go Cleveland. Okay. <laughs> it's, it's Ohio, man. Ohio, every, Ohio just sucks. <laughs> I got sorry if any family members of mine that live there happen to actually listen to this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, man. So I'm just gonna the Vikings. <laughs> Well, what else is there? Um, where are the Vikings from? Minnesota. Minnesota Vikings. Minnesota Timberwolves. It's not bad. Minnesota. That's all I know. So, uh, I'm a huge Chicago fan when it comes to sports. Right. So, you, you got know, you got the Bears. Bears, Cubs. Cubs. Bulls. Yeah. Blackhawks. Blackhawks, yep. So, uh, I mean, that's, that's some pretty good ones there. Right? Yeah. So I'm going to say Chicago wins just because I'm a fan. <laughs> Miami might have some problems. Uh, it dolphin. just gets, There's just dolphins finished. flopping on. Because you got dolphins, you got the Marlins. 
and uh, the heat the heat it just gets super hot so and there's fish everywhere so you ha- <laughs> so they're having a fish fry is what they're having <laughs> got a fish fry fish fry down in florida uh i'm trying to think of other place well what's uh what's california got over there mm, the clippers just hundreds of clippers everywhere and lakers whatever clippers and lakers are i don't know we have the, got the angels a's. they got, got the oakland a's yep uh the warriors the angels the rams the so you only got like a couple that are actually real things at this point yeah the rams the rams and angels that's is that it angels are pretty powerful <laughs> that's true I mean, I, that's true. I mean, I can't, you know, I'm glad they're not like the, the Cal- California gods or something, you know. <laughs> <laughs> the the angels, angels. Yeah. I mean, they oh. did help the outfielders and angels in the outfield. It's a movie. I've probably never seen it. Uh, of course I, not. I, I can't ever do any cinema with you. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's more. L- there's got to be like way more L.A. Or California. Oh, right. We're doing city, though. So just LA, I guess. Yeah, I guess so. What's. Uh, Giants. No, not San Francisco. Indianapolis. We have the Colts. That's it. <laughs> and the, yeah, the Pacers are horses again. So more horses. Yeah. We just got tons of horses. <laughs> I don't know why I forgot we had a basketball team. <laughs> <laughs> we went to a game. <laughs> I know, but the I was there for the Bulls. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I don't know. That's a pretty good question. I like that. Yeah, I think about fun. the different ones. Um, oh, no. Urgent question. How do you dispose of a body of a werewolf who turned back into a human after it died? Um, I'm going to say that it's going to look like murder. Um, unfortunately, um, I don't think there's a way to kill a werewolf and they don't turn back. Every movie I've ever seen, they always turn back after you kill them. So just leave it and walk away. I guess if you're somewhere like, well, I mean, if, if there's witnesses that you're, I think you're gonna, I think you might be okay. Like if it's attacking a town. And everybody's freaking out, and then you, everybody sees you shoot well, it, and it turns it died. into a person. What if it, oh, right, they don't, do they not die unless they get killed? Or, like, I don't know how we're Do for. what? Wait, what is the question? Like, do you think he died of old age? I mean, what do you mean? Right, yeah, that's what I mean. Oh, well, then why would you hide the body? It looks just like an old man who had a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, it doesn't I'm, say hide, just says dispose of. Yeah, I'm going to assume since it says urgent question, then he killed a werewolf <laughs> and it turned into a human is what I'm getting from the question. <laughs> right. <laughs> if he dies of natural causes, you don't have to hide a body <laughs> or dispose of him. Um, because, I mean, he can't pass that on. You have to be bitten or I think maybe even scratched is okay. Scratched or bitten by a werewolf is how you get hmm. werewolfed. Yeah, I guess if that's what you call it. <laughs> The werewolf germ. (laughs) Cooties. Werewolf cooties. Uh, I would say it just, unfortunately, you know, the same way if you had killed a regular person. (laughs) Uh, Hopefully you're in an area where you can hide the body and and move on with your life. (laughs) With your horrible nightmares that you're going to (laughs) have. Uh, what is a good part of your life currently? So to taste some pretty good. Yeah, that is pretty current. I will <laughs> give you that. <laughs> this podcast <laughs> is pretty sweet right now in my life. Um, I don't know. A lot of things. Enjoying the new job. Yeah, that's good. Uh, family going good, going strong. Nobody's got anything keeping them down right now. Uh, Great. Uh, I don't know. Nothing really bad going on. So, cool. life in general is good currently. Good. <laughs> yeah. And my soda is also good. <laughs> <laughs> I, of course, got my nephews. That's dope. 
Absolutely. Actually, my kids are uh, hanging out with your dad and Theo, or were earlier. Oh, yeah? yeah. Cool. Were. I, I doubt now it's 7 o'clock. Right. Um, okay. So stockpile of questions I have had over this time apart. Um, <laughs> okay. So... <laughs> Obviously, this is the realm of you not having a girlfriend. Would you marry somebody so they can have a green card? They're willing to pay you, but it is also illegal if that is the only reason for marriage. And then when you get a divorce, it's it's extremely tough for a divorce because they they will track everything down to find out if it was just so she could get a green card because you have to be married for a certain amount of time before it's like like there's no going back basically right so would you basically no, no like no there's no, no. <laughs> what if you're like what if you're I can't imagine a situation what if you're, I would even okay, entertain you, it for I'll long get, enough to go down one. that path okay. I'll give you one okay. alright you're 40 not married Right, no family, okay. no no kids, no nothing. Like you've, for whatever reason, life has gone the other way. Right, you you lose the girlfriend. You guys never get married. Right, mm-hmm. you're forty. Okay, and for some reason, you're homeless. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, you, you kind of need money. <laughs> <laughs> you're alone. You're a, getting all into life. You never a, made any money. What a loser. <laughs> Went full time on the podcast, never got over 200 subs. <laughs> right. And for some reason, you thought, this is it. We started getting, like, you went from, like, 100 to 200. And you're like, we're going to make it. You know, I'm quitting my job. <laughs> There's your scenario. Well, at that point, I'm such a different person. I guess anything's possible. <laughs> <laughs> we got them, guys. <laughs> oh, man. That brings up a question for me to okay. you. Yeah, that is why I'm Mary Kayla, yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, how, how many subs would we have to have for you to just be like, I'm quitting. I'm going full time. Oh my gosh. YouTube. Uh, for one, since uh, my my paycheck pays the majority of our finances, uh, it would have to cover that. So whatever the sub number would be to where we're getting money, and to where it covers what I'm bringing home now, it would have to be to that extent. Or at least almost to that extent to where if I had like a part-time side job other than this, it would cover everything else. Right. That That's what, I don't know what that number would be. Right. Yeah. I just, I just think about it like. Like 2 million. Cause if it got, <laughs> like if we got enough momentum, then like if we, if like I quit my job, I'd have enough time to actually keep the, that actually put the content out you know what i mean right i get what you mean so like so it'd still be a risk but it'd be like in other words what you're saying is you can take the risk i can't <laughs> right right i mean I mean, you're the one with the family i'm yeah, not <laughs> yeah yeah no family nothing you know it's not i'm past the age of risk taking life choices <laughs> <laughs> yeah i need to make sure that money's coming in <laughs> <laughs> so yeah it probably would be like Two million, probably, or something like that. Especially, yeah, I, well, I don't know. I don't know about between that. Between the both of us, though, it would have to be. I don't know. Like some of these, like real popular ones that have, you know, a lot of people, you know, listening. I mean, they they make they seem to make pretty good money somehow. Mm-hmm. So I, yeah. I don't know. When you have that many eyes on you, when you have attention, then you can make money because basically anything you do can work. You know what I'm saying? Like you can just mm. start a company and be like, "Hey guys, go buy my wristwatches." You know what I mean? And you'll make money still. You know what I mean? Ugh. Watches are expensive. There's Patreon too. That works too. We get enough people. But like AdSense from YouTube hardly makes you anything. Oh yeah. 
but like but it's like in it's like brands and sponsors and buy our hats <laughs> exactly yeah merch i mean how much you know how much merch we'd have to consistently sell to not have jobs <laughs> <laughs> i mean basically everybody you would see be wearing a shirt of ours <laughs> <laughs> anywhere you go but yeah it'd be could you imagine though being like famous famous to where like if you fly to florida people know you you know, you fly to a completely different place. Like, you can't go anywhere without people going, oh, Jason, Jason. <laughs> uh, take a picture with you, selfie, selfie. You know? That'd suck. <laughs> That'd be awful. Like, hey, I'm just trying to have a coffee, guys. Yeah. Why are people always asking me to smile? I don't want to you know, see my teeth. Right? <laughs> <laughs> By then, you can afford, like, good teeth, right? Like, yeah. You know, was it? Probably. The, was I it mean, I years? can afford them already, kind of. There you go. I mean, not myself, but right. it's already paid right. for. No, so I got you. It's just waiting for my body to grow. How old are you? <laughs> <laughs> 21? 19. Oh. Uh, you're pretty close, man. I think that's about as tall as you're getting. <laughs> if you're hoping, as tall as I'm getting. If you're for hoping sure. for seven foot, that's not coming. <laughs> <laughs> Be nice if I got five nine though. And Where I you was at right the now? Tallest, and I was the tallest. I'm five eight. Almost. I have not grown even half an inch. Five years. Yeah. <laughs> That's what happened to me, dude. <laughs> uh, like when I turned like fourteen. Like that's as tall I was. A, yeah. It. I was already max. <laughs> yeah. Now I'm much bigger in general now. Like my shoulders are wider. My, you know, like my chest is bigger. Right. My. my bones are bigger but i'm not any taller <laughs> ah, steroid it up man <laughs> you will grow <laughs> maybe in the wrong way unfortunately <laughs> all right certain parts grow smaller <laughs> <laughs> for sure absolutely <laughs> um you know from experience <laughs> Ooh, hey no not yet but one of these days it may happen. <laughs> I get done competing in drug tested stuff. It, you never know. <laughs> Might try it out. Um, okay, so this is it's actually this question actually kind of goes along almost with the zombie thing, except for it's not zombie related. Uh, okay. <laughs> fight or flight? Which uh, one are you? Flight. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, I'm, I'm generally flight. It I, am, I am too, I, and I was yeah, yeah. Depends on situation for sure. Like I mean, if it's just like some random crazy guy wanting to fight me, I'm just like, hey, yeah, I don't, I don't think so. You know. Yeah. Um, I mean, you back me in a corner, you know, I'll definitely fight. <laughs> I mean, there's right. some people you get back to a corner just cower in the corner. I right. Mean, that's just right. who they are. I I am definitely if you want to consider trying to talk the situation down, flight, then I'm flight. But, I mean, there's definitely situations to call for a fight, and I will, but right. rather not at yeah. 35. I'm kind of over that. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely different when you're, like, 18, 19. Well, at least it was when I was 18. 18, 19, I would fight over a, a donut. I mean, it didn't matter. I mean, <laughs> I was always, at that age, I was amped, ready to go 24-7, it seemed like. Yeah, I'm not so much. I mean, I would, I would... like, disrespectful, but... You right. Know, if you wanted to, I, I would. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> yeah, it it would depend who it is. If like, because sometimes I do get heated if someone's disrespectful to me. Right. Sometimes that does get me like, you know, your dad. But <laughs> <laughs> all right, who would but, win? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> but if uh, but if someone's just like trying to start a fight, yeah. then I'm just like. It's kind of weird like, almost, right? You know what like, I mean? Like, yeah. So, like, when I was in high school, it, it was not uncommon for someone to just start a fight for no reason. And, I mean, it happens all the time. It even happens all the time in the real world. But in high school, it made sense. I mean, everybody was just all full testosterone, ready to <laughs> just right. do whatever, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, but, like, now, like, at 35, when someone tries to start a fight, I'm like, it's just, it seems weird. Right, it's like, corny why, why do you want to fight? Yeah. And then, then they... They, and a lot of them, what it is, it's like younger guys who still have that energy mm -hmm. doing that to like older guys, right? And we're just like, uh, you know, you can't even really get us angry, right? Because it's yeah. like stupid stuff. Like, yeah. oh, you're gay. Like, 
but me and my friends call each other gay. I mean, that's, you know, that's yeah. a funny thing between us. Not like something to make somebody mad. You know, I mean, it's, it's, it is weird sometimes when you're like, someone's trying to like get at you yeah. to fight and you're just like, it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, have to erase these as we do them. Otherwise, I'll be <laughs> and they'll still be on there. Yeah, next month you'll be like the same ones over. Yeah, here. yeah, I will for sure. Memory is not that great. Ah, <laughs> uh, here we go. Here's a funny one. I found funny. So when you're in a group, of let's say five or more, it could be even smaller. But um, if someone smells a fart, they always blame the fat guy. Eat, hey, skinny people fart too. All right. <laughs> Why is that? No, got nothing. I don't know why. Okay. It's just they funny. eat more, so they're farting right, more. Right. Right. I guess that's why. I mean, I don't. <laughs> I think it's funny because I mean, I've been to like get-togethers of like friends or like whatever. I don't know if it's really happened with your family, but. I've gone to like other stuff, like and like I'm like, oh man, who farted? You know, and they get somebody else, like, oh, it's awful, and they they look at me like, did you fart? Why would you point me out out of everybody <laughs> just because I'm the biggest guy in the room? So obviously I'm the only one with stinky farts. <laughs> 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 and it ended up being the smaller guy who was cutting weight, drinking a bunch of protein. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's funny. I've always found that weird. We're going to just blame the fat guy for the fart. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, man. All right. So we, you know, it's funny because his questions are lined up with some of these. Uh, so as far as conspiracy theories or just theories in general, okay. who built the Great Pyramids? And how Ooh. did they do it? Interesting. Because as far as we're taught when we're younger, it was slaves. And they really depict them. I remember pictures of slaves, with like ropes tied around big bricks. They, like the big, I don't know, they're not necessarily bricks, I guess. but And they get like, like wood, like ramps that they're pulling them up. I mean, how heavy are these things? Way heavier than You know than what that. I mean? Yeah. So... What do you think? So that's not possible, right? <laughs> like I it's agree. not even it's not even close to possible, right? Um, like like one of the stones weighs like like a hundred thousand tons, right? Or yeah. something it's, insane it's, like you that. You could you don't, you don't have enough slaves to do no. that. And well, first of all, we do know like we have found some like um some writings about it or something and there there were like engineers working on it that much we do know so we actually so it probably wasn't slaves at all right um some have theorized they used water somehow which i still don't see how that works either but not to make a stone right not to make the stone um to move to oh, use to water move to move them um which doesn't make sense much sense to me either, but you know, because um, these are also not just these are not the only pyramids either that we mm -hmm, right. uh, around the world, right? So, yeah, of course, there's the Nephilim argument, but I don't know. I, I the, the thing is, it doesn't like, make a lot of sense to it, me, it's, it's, but it might. It, I mean, I don't know. We it, don't know. <laughs> well, that's right. It's it's so hard to think like what's the real truth behind that because right. What's what's even funnier is like as a kid you just believe like yeah slaves built them okay whatever you know you move on but when yeah. you're older you're like wait a minute <laughs> that's impossible yeah you know I mean these things are ridiculously heavy and you can only get so many hands on it to push it or to move it or to pull <laughs> it from ropes or whatever yeah, they depict you know close, yeah but it's wild that that was even an assumption at one point in time right or, yeah. or even just a pushed theory at one point in time it's crazy they're like yeah that's that's what we truly think yeah mm, like on. i've seen like histor historical videos on like history channel and they're like showing the pyramids and they're like they like have slaves pushing them yes. over rape and stuff and yes. it's like yeah. No, like it's it so doesn't crazy, work man. like that. So it's not there's, even close to possible. There's two theories that I've heard recently. Okay. All right. 
take it for what you want. First one is aliens. Okay. I mean, that's basically the same thing as Nephilim. Right. But yeah. And then the other theory, um, and mine just went blank. I had them both in my head <laughs> right, right when I went to say this. And uh, it's gone. Oh, the other theory is that the stage we're at now, so we've, we're, human race is smart, right? We're mm-hmm. building things. We're doing all these things. We, we got things to help us build big right, technology. Things. Yeah. So the theory is that we were already there once. Mm-hmm. That's how we built these. Uh, a catastrophic thing killed a lot of us out. Almost like a, a flood or something. Yeah. Good man. Yeah. <laughs> right. So obviously didn't kill us all out because we're still here, but enough to where we don't, know how they were built at this mm-hmm. point and we lost all the technology that built those I things. I do think we had a lot of technology because yeah there's a lot of evidence that we had very advanced technology a long time ago. It's almost like yeah, rebuild it now would still be hard work. Super hard. Yeah. Yeah. I mean even, we don't, even we we don't move stones that big yeah. generally and wonder, at all. How, how we, far? we usually build stuff with small things to make right. big things. Yeah even now we yeah. still do. And have you seen those walls? There's some walls in like uh, I want to say South America where they're humongous stones, not quite, not as big as the pyramids, but they're carved, they're like cut perfectly to fit together. Like all these stones right. fit together perfectly, and there are all kinds of crazy shapes. In okay, yeah, huge. no, I have seen they're like the size yeah. of this room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty that's, cool. you, that's even wilder than the pyramids to me. Like, I would always I love. I would, it's you know, I, I'm really into like I'd like to go visit this type of stuff and be able to check this stuff out. But like, mm-hmm. you couldn't. Like, I would like to go in the pyramid, right? Right. Like, supposedly, there's like rooms <laughs> right, yeah. inside these things, right? Right. I would love to be able to go in there and like check stuff out. But like, yeah. there's there's no way I could I could go over there and just do that. You know, right? And that's what sucks. Yeah. Because like I I want to know well as much as we can. Obviously, I'd like to know these things. That'd be kind of yeah. cool. But <clears throat> you have to be like part of a special group yeah. to go in these. Things. That's what I was. Man, it's nuts. That's what I was writing that bit about. Like, I was like, we are not allowed to discover things. Like, only certain people are right. allowed to do that. Like, right. you're just a person too. Right. Why do you have the right? Right. Who lets this it's guy go like, in the pyramid and check yeah. this out? I mean, because yeah. I'd I'd love to go in it the says pyramid. You own the pyramid. <laughs> There's you know, and some things I actually would like to check out, but they're. Some people we consider them creepier. So there's, I don't remember the places or anything. I've watched so much of this stuff. I couldn't tell you where it was at, but um, supposedly this angled like cliff, like this big stone that goes up, and at the the tip top, suppose like the Indians of that area, or I should say natives. I don't know if it's necessarily Indians because I'm not really sure where it was at. But they used to sacrifice up there. Supposedly mm-hmm. they could sacrifice up there, and then like could talk to what they thought were aliens or what or what they're what what they're saying is aliens now i mean obviously it wasn't aliens i wouldn't think that's what they're talking to if they're making sacrifices but uh weirdly enough i'd like to like go to there and just check it out like i'm not gonna sacrifice anything (laughs) (laughs) but just to like go to these areas where things like that happened would be kind of cool yeah obviously area 50 want to be another one Right. Just just because, like, just to, yeah. you know, there's no theory. You know, go there. Know. All right, there's nothing here. Okay, whatever. Move yeah. on, you know. But there's a lot of things I'd like to check out, but it's like, why do they get to see it and I don't? Yeah. You know. Even, like, the Indian mounds around here, we have the Indian mounds here, and I'm yeah. like, I won't see inside these things. Right. Well, I mean, you can. That's going to be a little bit but easier to get prison. to. <laughs> right, but it's easier to get to. Yeah. You know how much money... And time I'm going to go through to get to the pyramids. And then some, probably had to fight my way, like, <laughs> to, like, an, I don't even know where to start for an entrance. <laughs> like, it is like, I don't have, like, a map. Like, all right, the entrance is on the north side of the, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, how am I even going to get in? You finally get inside and get lost in there. Right. And get killed by one of their traps S- that stupid, supposedly exists. Stupid, exist. fat, white American guy <laughs> got lost in the pyramids. <laughs> There was like he passed twenty signs that said "Don't go in." <laughs> Did it anyways. <laughs> oh man, that'd be pretty cool. I'd like to yeah. be able to check that stuff out. Oh, that'd be so amazing. Yeah. Uh, let's see. 
Yeah, I crave that kind of Absolutely. adventure I do a lot. Yeah, I think a lot of people do, but it's just the you got to know the right people. You got to somehow have an in with the people that are allowed to go in these things. Then you got to have the money. Of course, they usually get financing somehow, <laughs> like investors. Like, oh, we're gonna go in the pyramids. You know, this is what we're gonna find. Like, they yeah. give a, investors have like first dibs on knowing the information, or if there's value, they get the value Mm -hmm. because they're paying for you to be able to afford to do this. Right. And then of course in the country, if you're out of country, like, so as I say, we were going to go check it out. We'd somehow have to get permission from that country. Yeah. And, but then it's like, if you, whatever you find, they have to see it first. Yeah. Because if there's information they don't want getting out about it for some reason, I mean, I don't know. Let's say it's for some reason they know how they were built. (laughs) <laughs> they know exactly what's going on, how it's well. there. Right. And they're like, but we don't want that getting out. Right. What if it's just like written inside of there? Like that it's would like be great. it's like detailed inside. Jeff was of there. here. <laughs> <laughs> it's like all in there in the nineteen eighty two. It's like the center block all the way in the middle. <laughs> oh man. That would be great. Like the whole design like that's where we keep the designs. Uh and all the historical facts about these things that we did know what happened, we're just leaving them in there because nobody's going to go in. <laughs> uh, let's see. Ooh. How long have we been going for? Uh, wow. Decent, almost an hour. Okay. Felt fast, didn't it? All right. Got one more for you then. All right. It's kind of fun. All right. I don't know if you've heard this one before. It's kind of an old one. I mean, they, I remember this one being back, I think, when I was younger even. like So there's a red button. Yeah. All right. If you press it, every time you press it, you get a million dollars. But someone in the world randomly dies. What do you do? <laughs> it's random. Random. I mean, it, it could be somebody. Totally random. Obviously, it's going to be somebody, more than likely, it's somebody you don't know. Because it's going to be completely random have more likely you're not going to know this person out of the all the people in the world <laughs> there's a couple different arguments here right there is but what what would you do if you're presented with this i think i would i would just walk away right yeah right cuz you're kind of committing murder at this point right yeah 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 yeah, that's just selling your soul for money, basically in in a physical like just it's just there. Right. <laughs> you literally just press a button. So, but but there's the argument of like, well, we're gonna die anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's going, man. It's, yeah. It must be that person's time. <laughs> I could I could totally that'd be like a funny skit and just like, what do you do? Like like it's like this big setup like for and right. just. <laughs> <laughs> just start smacking it. <laughs> uh, so, do you know? So, I've have you been in an elevator and you see a button that's kind of faded in the mm-hmm. elevator because mm-hmm. it's been hit so many times? Mm-hmm. That would be the red button for me. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Uh, for some reason, millions of people died today. <laughs> <laughs> all over the country, people are dropping, or all over the universe, people are just dropping dead in the middle of the street. <laughs> Young people, old people. That would be wild. Somebody got the red button. <laughs> um, yeah. One topping. Or condiment on a sandwich that ruins it. Oh, that ruins it. Yep. Um, peppers for me. I hate peppers. But... Just what do you mean by peppers? Like hot peppers, or you mean like bell peppers? Bell peppers. Yeah. Uh, who puts bell peppers on a sandwich? That's, that's kind of a weird one. Tons of people put bell really? peppers on sandwiches. Yeah. I've n- I've never been given. Have you been to Subway? Yeah. Is that an option? Yeah. Oh. They have like four different peppers you can just try. So they got like bell we're, get, we're, get, we're getting ready get like, we're getting ready to get into something else real quick. Uh I feel like subs are different than a sandwich. 
<laughs> I've never had a meatball sandwich. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh. <laughs> or uh what's that one with like the chicken and like tomato sauce and cheese or whatever? How about like a they like 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 chicken patties and they got like spaghetti sauce yeah, and like cheese on top of called? it. I don't remember what it's called, but I've never had that on a sandwich either. Okay. So I think I think sandwich. I think of like your normal like bologna cheese like, turkey. Like it's just it's not just bread. It's like it's square bread. Right. Or circular bread. Does that work? Like buns. Those are uncrustables. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not a fan of relish. Yeah. Yeah. I, again, or, I feel like that's a hot dog thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm just dumping like on, 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 everything you pick. Like, nah, that, that's, that's, that's going on there anyways. <laughs> well, also, I hate mustard. Uh, mustard is rough. No, I used to like it when I was little. I loved mustard, but right. I've I've grown to hate it. <laughs> I, don't I know why. like mustard in small amounts. I do like it on a sandwich, but like not a lot. <laughs> I did one time for some reason as a kid at my grandfather's house put a ton of mustard on a sandwich. Now I don't know why I did it. I'd never had done it before. I don't know why I thought I'd like it. But he goes, "You're gonna eat that sandwich," <laughs> <laughs> and I did. It wasn't the greatest, but I muscled through it. Now I will say, as far as like something on a sandwich, I've never understood and didn't like. It's the bologna with like the whatever in it. Um, it's like pepper or something weird. Like it's almost kind of like a crunch to it. It's weird. Mm-hmm. It's got like little hard pieces in it. I can't remember what that's called, but it's gross. You mean like salami? No. No, you mean no, bologna no, no, with bologna. stuff in it. Yeah, it's actually like a pack of bologna. Mm-hmm. Like you're like normal bologna, but it's actually got, huh. like I don't know, that rocks, sounds... rocks in it. <laughs> <laughs> gristle. I forget. I gristle forget and bone. <laughs> Chunks of gristle and bone. Yeah. Like you didn't clean this bad. pig out. Let's see if I can. Uh... Yeah, you know, I just haven't eaten a lot of bologna in my life. Really. I used to eat it. Like, that used to be like a common thing in my house is yeah. bologna. Bologna and yeah, cheese. Yeah, we never did. Mom always bought like, like, you know, it's like either ham or turkey or something. Like, we didn't buy bologna. Or American cheese, like it's real cheese, turkey or ham, or you know, you know. So I think you got to look at the generation of how they, of how each of like our parents grew up, right? Mm-hmm. They both had different stuff going on. So my father oh, came yeah. from literally dirt floor poor. Yeah, didn't have you. They couldn't guarantee every meal or if at all. Uh, so pretty bad living as far as like food right so mm-hmm. like when you become older your idea of healthy food or good food isn't really there just as long yes. as there's food there it's a good thing right, right? so where as bologna and cheese it's cheap we can get it it's always going to be at the house there's always yeah. going to be a way to have a sandwich so that's i think what kind of his thinking was around that oh yeah more than likely so they're not thinking of like, oh, we need like healthy turkey and like yeah. real cheese. Like we had probably what the cheese with is like part part plastic. Yeah. Like the slices that are in the wrap. Right. Yeah. That's what we had. And I, right. And the bad thing is, to this day, I like that cheese because that's what I grew up with. You know, it does taste good though. I yeah. like it too. I, I like, like it a little melted in like a soup. Yeah. Yeah. It yeah, tastes better. But it's. Not Something real cheese. About it. Kayla, yeah. Kayla's like, that's not real cheese. <laughs> it, you're, pro- <laughs> I'm probably not even passing it. It's probably just building up somewhere inside of me. You just and, got like a ball of cheese. Yeah, in it's the just middle a, of it's you like somewhere. a it's like a wad off to the side. And my body's like, all right, there's more. Here comes more. Just shove it over. <laughs> just pack it in. Got a cheese stone. Yeah, I'm just gonna have like this thing I have to cut out of me when I'm like 70. <laughs> have you seen those things that cows grow inside of the, like over time that build up inside of them? 
Like where? And there's at? stones inside their their gut. Stum- yeah. From like eating stuff. Mm-hmm. Eating stones. Mm-hmm. It's really wild. They're to, like people will cut them open and stuff. Like to butcher them and they find it, or they're like they're uh-huh. having issues, so they they butcher them and they find them. Oh, yeah, that's wild. No, I ain't heard of that at all. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, what we're talking about the oh, right sandwiches, yeah. But at this, like at this point, the price difference between like bologna and American cheese versus and versus getting like ham and real cheese is like nothing like they're yeah. like the exact same price now i mean like now when i was a kid it was or you know when i was a kid it was different so yeah and even when i was little it was right a big difference but now it's about the same like like if you must like oh you guys have turkey you guys have <laughs> deli sliced turkey yeah and real cheese yeah, it must be rich. we know who's making the big bucks <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> you're putting that sandwich together Don't. i wonder what the poor people are doing tonight <laughs> <laughs> on rye bread <laughs> right <laughs> oh man uh you know it's it's funny to think about that stuff though like my i always hated steak as a kid and because my dad would burn the steak <laughs> now and that's what, and I and I tell him I don't like it because you burn the steak. I go, it's burnt. He goes, it's not burnt. That's how you cook a steak. Well, I didn't know any better, right? So I'm like, I mean, you're chewing a long time. It's crunchy. It shouldn't be crunchy. It shouldn't have a crunchy outer layer. Uh, it was awful, man. He just didn't know how to cook steak, in my opinion. Well, then when I uh, started cooking steaks when I got older with like Nick, like and actually like, all right, we'll time it. In. We got like a certain temperature, a certain time. Turn them so many times, you know. And it's like, and it's not burnt. It's, you know, it's juicy. I like, like, I love steak. And I still love steak now. But, like, I remember as a kid, just like, oh, we're having steak. And to him, you know, like, like oh, we're doing well. We're getting steak tonight. Right. And then you go and burn it. <laughs> <laughs> I do find it crazy when people like burnt things. Yeah. There are people out there. Like, oh, yeah. people want hot dogs. They My mom's burnt. one of them. That's right. I yeah. forgot about that. Yeah. Like, like leave, leave one hot dog on there a little longer. Let it burn. Yeah. Like, awful, what? Yeah. You know, and there's people, like, so, at work today, actually, I normally don't eat breakfast out there, but I did today, and I went out there, and their sausage, most of their sausage patties were burnt. Mm. I don't know why Mm -hmm. they still served them, but they did. And the lady in front of me goes, "Uh, make sure you give me two burnt ones. I'm like, oh. (laughs) Like, that's just, some people... (laughs) <laughs> you're not you're not supposed to bite into sausage and it'd be crunchy i'm just sorry i'll take i'll take blood pudding over that <laughs> which that ain't bad either yeah i like it actually uh as long as you don't burn it <laughs> <laughs> for real i had a weird weird sausage that just showed up in our fridge i don't know where it came from no one knows where it came from. Uh, did you eat it? I did. I cooked it and ate it. And it was a lot like blood sausage. But I don't know where it came from, and neither did my parents. So I feel like it was regular sausage that had sat there long enough to have the same consistency as blood <laughs> sausage. <laughs> well, it is weird because it seemed like almost like a summer sausage All right. consistency. Until I cooked it, and then when I cooked it, then it just flaked all apart into like a... It was really weird. I would immediately have not eaten that, by the way. <laughs> if I if I open the fridge and there's sausage in there, and I look at Kayla and I go, hey, did you buy this sausage? And she says, no, nah, I don't know where it came from. And I know I didn't buy it. I'm going to throw it away. Especially if I go to cook it and it does something weird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it wasn't it wasn't great either. It was super salty. I ate, How'd your I stomach handle it? Stomach. Not super great. Yeah. Not super bad either, but... I, I couldn't eat a whole lot of it. I, speaking about salt, it seems like restaurant salt is going up. Me and Kayla went out to eat, and we got, uh, for, it was for our anniversary, went to uh, Longhorn Steakhouse. Mm-hmm. So, uh, one of my favorite places probably, but it's expensive, so we don't go there very often. Um, but we got the onion petals and then like the shrimp pieces. Okay. Both of them were super salty. Like, I mean, crazy salty. Ugh. Yeah, that sucks. Yeah, uh, it was gross. We brought them home. I haven't eaten them. I don't know if I'm going to. <laughs> okay, I need to talk about something. What are your thoughts on Cracker Barrel? 
like their food or just the company just, and just general? all just going to a cracker barrel the uh, whole experience so experience wise it's whatever i mean i don't it, i don't think of home <laughs> but i've never had a bad meal there i'm super big on their breakfast i love it i get the grandpa's breakfast it's fantastic um, uh, I've only come to eat lunch there maybe once or twice, so I don't really know about their lunch. But their breakfast is fantastic. Well, I hate it. <laughs> is it because they're like a, the Walmart of restaurants? They're yeah, everywhere. So, so it's just <sighs> crackers in the name. Before you go anywhere, <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's so middle of the road that it's painful so what like mean, middle of the road so like i don't know just like you walk in to this gift shop that doesn't fit the theme at all like it's just random stuff there's like dinosaurs okay. and weasel balls on okay the wall. i'll agree there is a kids section is what you're talking uh-huh, about which right is now. like 90 percent of it and, and then, then there's, there's always a like, christmas section mm-hmm and then usually whatever area you're in, there's like a little sports part, right? So there's usually like a team. Yeah, if you're in like Louisville, they've got like Louisville stuff or Kentucky. They got Kentucky sports and stuff. And then they have like the boomer shirts every time. And they got uh, usually like a little girl section like where they got like cute shirts and stuff normally. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Kind of, yeah. And then uh, they always got the CD area. Supposed to have like, And they always That's have like true. the old... So they're 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 yeah, and they have like pushing the old towards TV the older shows. people. Yes. Yeah, yeah. They're I pushing hate the old it. people. Well, the whole thing is kind of themed for old people, right? I know, but they got rocking chairs out front. Uh, everything they always got a fireplace. Now, what I don't mind is like the antiques on the wall. I think that's cool. I guess. Okay. I don't like love it, but it's not like I can't. I don't knock on that. But f- also food wise too, Wait. um, like. It's just not exceptional for how much you pay for it. Like I would you get the same food that you would get if you went to like a local diner, but it's not as good and you pay more for it and you wait forever. I've never gone to Cracker Barrel and gotten my food in less than 40 minutes. I don't know when you guys are going. I, I've, I've really gone like I've, 40 times. I've really never had that long of a wait. Um it doesn't really? seem like. I mean they're now now. There's been times where they've been crowded because we went at the wrong time, and you know you gotta wait for a table and you get, that's the. But we usually go when we go on vacation. We go on vacation. Mm-hmm. I went with so, you on vacation that one time. So we're looking like eight nine o'clock normally, maybe before that breakfast. I mean, I don't feel like that was a long wait. I don't rem- I don't remember the specific specific time that we went very well. I know we went right. though. Yeah, we always go on vacation so. Yeah, that's, that's that's like our ritual when we leave home to go on vacation. See, we did, we we've done that too, and I've gone like forty times. Right, and maybe I'm just sick of it now because Possible. I've gone so many times. I do not want to ever go there ever again for the rest of my life. So at this point, um, it's not like I had like a super bad experience because that would almost be interesting. I will say their pancakes are better than like a normal like back town restaurant. I disagree. Pancakes are pretty I mean, good. they're better than McDonald's. Right, which is all we like... have in our small town. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. <laughs> we don't really have anything like that. So We don't in Mount Vernon, that's no. true, for sure. But like when I'm on vacation, there's usually like a cool yeah. a little Could you local imagine taking a vacation though. from somewhere else and you didn't live here and you go through Mount Vernon? Like, it was probably like a cute little diner somewhere and <laughs> there's nothing. Yeah. We like, used to have, we've had that one diner that's been 12 different places and that thing was trashed the whole time. We've had tons of like breakfast diners over the years. Yeah. And, and the, none well, of them make sucked. Them. Well, so there Two. was one when I was a kid who made it, and this one made it the longest until it switched hands. And I don't know why people quit going with switched hands because it, it, I don't think they did a bad job. So it was Main Street Diner. When I was a kid, that was the breakfast place to go. That's where all the old people went to have their coffee um, and, you know, probably toast because they can't really eat much. And then, you know, we would go. And they had good food, you know, your normal diner food, your mm-hmm. biscuit gravy, whatever. It switched hands. They had the same kind of 
you know, menu, same food, you know, and it tasted good. They, they did a good job. But for some reason, the people who went there just quit going. And I don't know why when it switched hands. Hmm. I, I don't know what happened. I don't know if something happened that I didn't know about or what. But it's like they actually moved here from Las Vegas because they were told that this restaurant made X amount of dollars. Which it did probably did when they told them that. So they bought, they moved here, bought that restaurant. They lived in the upstairs part, mm-hmm. yeah, and ran the restaurant in the bottom. And I mean, I mean, pretty much went broke, man. I mean, because nobody ever showed up. Now, is it is it the place that is now the fifteenth Mexican restaurant in no. Mount Vernon? No, no, no. This one was because that place was a diner like seventeen different times by seventeen different people. You know what I'm talking about? Yes. What's now? Uh, what is the name of that place? Si Senor? Correct, yeah. Because the other one's Maria's, right? The one we went to? Right, yeah. But yes. they have... Si Senor's got good food, so actually. They're I, be- way better than Maria's. I do like Si Senor. Mm-hmm. And I do like Maria. I, I, so, at this point in time, there's not a Mexican restaurant I won't go to. Because I don't mind uh, tequilas, either. But Kayla hates yeah. tequilas, but she got food poisoning there, so I understand why she hates it. Yeah. Makes sense. I'm also kind of getting tired of Mexican. Like, I don't... <gasps> Racist. If <laughs> <laughs> if there's other places to go, I would and, rather and go other not, places. The problem but there's is, not in Mount Vernon. We have so. Mexican or pizza. Yeah, that's it. Pretty much your two choices. Or fast man. food. Yeah, if you don't want fast food, it's Mexican or pizza. Yeah. And I'm all right with that every once in a while, but I'm kind of burnt out on a lot of pizza. I'm kind of burnt out on... I'm not really burnt on Mexican yet. I really do. That's probably one of my favorites is Mexican food. Oh, yeah. I love Mexican food, man. So, I mean, yeah. it would take For me, me a I'm while. Asian food all the way. Nope. I got burned on that, burned out on that one as a kid. So, kind of like your situation, uh-huh. probably right now. So, my dad, so there used to be one in town. Uh, you know where the little uh, ice shop's at? Mm-hmm. Uh, those yeah. are like snow cones and stuff. Uh, I remember next to that restaurant. I remember that restaurant. It was still around when I was really little. Because I remember... Uh, well, we went there when it was a Mexican restaurant. Oh, really? When you were older. You would have been older because it was before we had Mariah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But me um, and Kayla yeah. were married. Right. So it was a Mexican restaurant. Mm-hmm. But it, when I was a kid, it was Chinese a Chinese restaurant. Yeah. I remember going to it when it was Chinese, too. So Like my, one time. I think I went once. My dad wore that place out, dude, when I was like in junior high. Uh Maybe even grade school through junior high. I mean, just it seemed like we ate it all the time. And I'm just like, I got sick of it pretty quick. I'm like, oh, Chinese food again? You know, I'm like, I'm done with this stuff, man. And so, I, you know, I know Kayla would like to eat Chinese food more often, but I'm just, I'm not, the, I don't want anything to do with it, man. I mean, I'll, like, if she wants to, I'll go, but. You now, what about, like, Japanese, like, with sushi and. Love sushi. I'll go sushi all day. And, all. like, uh, you know, what is it? Zuki. Like, do you like. Those kind of foods with yes. like a the, the su- lo mein I, and I don't know about that. Yeah. Sushi, I'm down for absolutely. Uh, Godzilla roll, if they have it, is like my favorite. Yeah, um, I love sushi so much. I could eat sushi every single yeah. day, man. Uh, so the last time me and Kayla went, it's been a, it's actually been a long time. But I met her over there at at Zuki's. Uh, what's that road that's actually still got brick on it? Yeah, it's Main Street. Main Street. Yeah. yeah. So I went that we went there on that, to that one. And uh, it's so funny because I got uh, three different ones, like so three plates of, of sushi. And the guy, the guy was funny. He goes, he goes, ah, oh, you're gonna do it up today, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was like, I was like, yeah, I want that one, I want that. One. I mean, I mean, and the thing is, yeah. I can eat a lot of it too. Right. It seems like. Yeah, I got two four rolls last time I went. Yeah, I got, I got three. That was still good. Yeah. Yeah, I got three and ate all of them, man. I was, I was. Full it's of such them. a good full though. Yeah. Too. You know what I mean? Like you're not like. Ugh. Well, it's not you're a lot of grease, like, right? I mean, you you know, you eat one like a number one at McDonald's, dude. You feel awful, and right. you feel like grease is just pouring out of your face at that point. <laughs> I mean, that yeah. That, I mean, it's like they just they cook it in grease and then dip the whole thing in grease when they're done. That's what <laughs> it feels like, you know. Yeah, yeah. Which I'm not gonna knock it. I do like McDonald's. I mean, I but I grew I grew up right now. <laughs> yeah I grew up on McDonald's, so I mean I I do like it unfortunately, but we don't go there very often either. I yeah. do. I do prefer Dairy I go Queen. way too often. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's well, also cheap, too. Well, here's the thing. Or it used to be. I got suckered into getting the mobile app. <laughs> and it's so 
convenient. Oh no! Because you can just park. Yep. And and they you get all kinds of discounts on the app too. So I pay like four dollars to get plenty of food, and they bring your food out to you, and it's just like, it's was so e- it's too easy. I would maybe do I'd that go for away Dairy too Queen. Much. I got like Dairy Queen more than McDonald's personally. Oh, me too. Yeah. But it's also more expensive. Right. Way more expensive. But I think you're yeah. getting a better quality of food. Now you may not be in reality, better. but it yeah. tastes like it, and even to me, anyways, it does taste better. I like, like I really like like their A one burger. Yeah, that's I what really I like do. That. I tear that up with onion rings on yeah. it. Yeah. Ah, yeah, fantastic. Yeah, I love that. <laughs> <laughs> like, I feel super fat right now. Like, yeah, that's, that's what I want. <laughs> yeah, that is. Like, like McDonald's doesn't have anything that's no, as good as that. Yeah. No. The one thing that they used to do, the McDonald's, and they quit doing, or at least last time I tried it, they told me no. Um, I used to go get the dollar cheeseburgers, but have the Big Mac sauce put on it. And the, huh. I used to do it all the time. We would go that in there would again. be awesome. Because they get the yeah. dollar burgers, so you get like four dollar burgers throw right. and have them, and they just request mac sauce on them. Huh. And they used to do it. And then one time I went, and they're like, sorry, we can't do that anymore. I'm like, uh, I'll pass then. I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> you know? I'm not coming back. <laughs> yeah, I was like, like, come on, like, why can't you do that? I'll even pay a little bit extra for the sauce to be on it. You know? Right. Because it's like four little, four little Big Macs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Without yeah, all so. the, the bread. <laughs> right. Yeah. They did the, I don't know if it's been years ago now. They used to have like the the Mac Jr. And then like, I forgot yeah. what the big one was. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. I do remember that time. <sighs> Mega Mac or something maybe. Something but like it was that. like their bigger burgers into right. a Big Mac. Yeah. I tore that up for a while when they had it. It mm-hmm. was because I, I was able to leave for lunch at work. Um that and it, they only did it for like a short time. Yeah, I do remember that. That they had like a deal on it too. Where like if yeah. you got a little one and a big one, it was like real, it was pretty cheap. Yeah, we, me and Dad did that for a while too. That stuff go, was pretty yeah. good, man. That Mac sauce is good. You gotta give yeah. that. And the fries are good if they're fresh. Once they go cold, yeah, it's like packing peanuts. All right, who, where's your? Who has the best fries in your opinion? Fast Ooh, food. Best fries, fast food. That one's pretty tough. I'm going to go left field in this one, man. Uh, I really like rallies. Okay. I really like rallies. Uh, seasoned fries. That's good okay. stuff. Now, again, we're talking fresh, obviously. Oh, yeah. Because yeah, any, yeah. any cold fry anywhere is awful. Now, I love Wendy's is generally my number one. I really like Wendy's fries. And they got the skin on them, too. But I'm starting to get swayed. To actually like Chick Fil A's fries the most, they're pretty good. I don't know. I uh, the the taste for me. So I'm a big like. So I also like Arby's curly fries. So I something about the seasoned fries like that. Yeah, they're. I good. like I like Arby's fries too. Yeah. So that that's kind of where I lean towards as far as like a favorite. No, fry. I think we all know who has the worst fry. G D Ritzy's. Well, does that count? Like no seasoning, they're small. I've never been to GD Ritz's what? for food. I've got an ice cream there, but I've never their got burgers food there. are freaking awesome, but their fries oh, yeah. suck. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was gonna say Dairy Queen fries are horrible. Man. They're not great. They're not great. They're not. I do. They're like. However, flaccid. I, how I, <laughs> that's because they they pack them all in there with all that grease. Yeah, and it softens all. <laughs> I do like Dairy Queen's fries. I'm not against them, but I I, I, mean, I definitely yeah, I eat them. But if you're gonna make make a list, they're definitely towards the bottom. Yeah, I usually usually I'll just pay a little extra to get onion rings when I go to Dairy Yeah, now onion rings there are pretty good too, but their burgers are phenomenal. I like the flamethrower. I yeah. got I used to always eat the flamethrower till they did the A one steak burger. Now I'm yeah, doing that one. Yeah, yeah, it's good. Um, Even their regular just like loaded burger, like lettuce pickle and you know normal yeah, stuff, is pretty good. good still. Yeah. Uh, so we did we did fry, but what about burger in general? As far as fast food, uh huh. So just bur- plain, just, just, just uh, well, like whatever. the basic no, quarter pounder burger. I don't want to do that because I hardly ever get that. Because if there's like a special sauced one, I usually get that. So one. you're gonna hate me because again, I have to go Wendy's. I think Dave's Double is, like, my favorite burger. Yeah, I'm kind of out on that, I feel like, <laughs> you know. Uh, When's the last time you got a Dave's Double? It's been a while. It's been a while. I'd say 
at least a year. I've been around at least a year. But it's there's probably no, paying close to that for me too, since the one on the west side closed. I never right, go anymore. Well, now I was on the yeah. west side. I got it quite often. Yeah. But it's it's a weird. So it's like weird because it's plain. There's nothing really on it. Right, but I don't know. Something about it. It's like, good, it's but really good to me. But but man, it also I don't has know. the most meat. I feel like like the most That's actual true. meat. That's true. And I really and it's cra- square. And I really <laughs> <laughs> and I really crave meat. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Just gonna let that one slide. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Alrighty. <laughs> I crave more meat. Okay. <laughs> the thicker, the better. Uh, you're not helping yourself any. <laughs> uh, Just the juicy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's let's move on. So. Well, let's say that's your plain burger. Okay. What's your favorite burger that's like a specialty burger? Like a like a Big Mac or an A1 or whatever else you've had. If you say a Dave's Double. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to remember any... Right, Other it's it's tough. It's tough, like on the mo. Like, I I don't go out and have it like different stuff like that very often. You know what we should do? Because me and Ali, Ali have been talking about this. I don't know if you'd want to do it with us. Is like just going and ordering that kind of stuff from like all the restaurants. Yeah. And yeah, ranking them. Yeah, that'd be I'd be down be for fun. that. Now, would we do it in the moment though? Because I feel like if you pick them up and then bring them back somewhere, it's going to change the quality of that. A little bit, but I think you kind of have to. Yeah, if you don't want to film in public, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but but I feel like like you have to taste them right one after the other. You know what right. I mean? So if you I, just taste it. That's true, I guess. Because like, then it's the same thing as what we're doing right now. That's true. So so my thing is we have to make the list, though. Because there's mm-hmm. other places that, you know, we got to make sure we hit. Like, so Five Guys has to be on it just because everybody, oh, wants, to, yeah. everybody wants to throw Five Guys in. They're so I feel so like, good, I feel like yeah. Five Guys has to be part yeah. of it. Um, Their fries are really good, too, by the way. Uh, there's, I haven't, I'll Steak be honest with you, shape. I have never eaten at Five Guys. I just really? know, I know some people rave about it, but it's just, it's because it's not on the west side. So right. I never think about it. Dude, I love it. I've only been a few um, times, but it was really good every time. There's I've another gone. one we have to, like, if if we're going to do this, is we, G. Reese's has to be part of it. Their burgers, I, for a plain burger, they're probably my favorite that, really? I, that I have as far well, as Well, see, like food. I said, I've never eaten their food before. Uh, a fr- like a fresh burger from there is fantastic. Have you been to Freddy's yet? Yeah. I don't like it. Not a huge fan. Yeah. And it, way it, overpriced. It seems like they don't season their burger or something. Like, the burger yeah. just tastes like nothing. Yeah. I mean, it's weird. Yeah, I agree. Like, just take the texture of a burger in your mouth. That's it with no taste. That's what it, <laughs> that's what it seems like. It's very weird. Yeah. So, I, when we go there, we've I've been there twice, and I get, like, their special sauce just to have some flavor. <laughs> right, and, like, pour it on yeah. it. Yeah. Now, uh, I will say their fries are pretty good. They're, like, really thin. I kind of, you know, they're different. I like I don't, them. I don't like them. No. No, it's kind of like a G.D. Ritzy fry. But overall, overall, they're like the bottom of the list for me. Yeah. And they're more expensive than everywhere else, yes. too. Like, it's just, uh, I, I just... Anything that pops up new now will have to be to com- to right. stay around because that stuff's so expensive. Like, yeah. you go and rent a building right now, since everything's up, you're paying more than the guys that have been there forever or right. who own their own building at this point. Right. Uh, there's one place we do have to add to the list. It's in Evansville. Um, if I can remember what it's called, uh, Circus something. Uh, no idea. No, no, sorry, not Circus. Big Top. Yeah, Never I know. Heard of it. I know you probably haven't been there. Big Top's got to be on there. Never even if heard we're of doing it. burgers, where Big huh. Top is. Okay. Yeah, they're considered fast food, but uh, there's no indoor. So you go up to like the. It's, okay. You go to the window, you order, you get it, and go. Me cool. and Kayla's been there. It's good. How about Sonic? Uh, I never really get burgers when I go to Sonic, so I don't know. I think we have to count it as far as. But yeah, we should have to put it on the list for I trying think, them. I think Sonic would have to be on the list if that's if we're doing burgers. I mean, they're not necessarily known for burgers, right? As like these other places are pushing, right? But we should try it. I think it should be added to it. Um, 
I don't think Steak and Shake should because that's a restaurant. Right? We wouldn't count that, would we? Uh, right. I guess they're not fast food. Right. I think we're kind of sticking to the fast food model. Right. Yeah. Wasn't there... I feel like there's another fast food... Oh, Culver's. Ugh. <laughs> I kind of like... I do like their fish at Culver's. But you, you can't go burger, but, burger, fish, all right? <laughs> no, I mean, we're going to get a burger from Culver's, but I'm just saying we need to add them to the list. Uh, yeah, Culver's. Um, anyway, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'd, I'd be down to do that. It sounds fun. And then Eileen and I, well, right, you don't drink coffee. Eileen and I were going to try oh, all do. the coffees. Oh, really? Yeah. We go. wanted to see what, like, all their coffees are, because... You didn't get to go with us to to Florida when we all went. Right, yeah. Yeah. So. You should ask your dad about the coffee I make. Okay. He hates it. Is it <laughs> like bland? Oh, it's super weak. strong. Oh, it's, oh. Su- it's over the top strong. Oh, why would he hate? Well, yeah, he oh, would hate no, that. No, no. Me and mom would love it. Yeah, your mom liked it. Mm-hmm. Your mom liked it. I, so, so the thing is, I I have, I don't drink coffee every day, but I drink coffee when it's strong. And when I, so when I worked at Valero, me and the other guy would get there at 4.30 a.m. Uh, nobody else in the office. So we would, we didn't have a break room. Our department didn't. We got to use like the office break room for the most part. So we put our, our, uh, our, uh, our lunch in the microwave or microwave, put our lunch in the refrigerator. We can use their coffee maker, all that stuff. So we would make, I would make a pot of coffee when I got there. I would get there before he would. I start a pot of coffee. I get dressed, get ready. He would usually show up, and he liked his coffee really strong. Now he didn't know that I made strong coffee, but I made it really strong. He goes, he goes, oh, this is. He goes, I, I like this really strong because I can only handle like a small cup. I'd have like the big like tumbler, like Yeti cup. I'd have one full one of those of this uh, coffee. People in the office when they started coming in, when I started making, so I didn't do it when I first started. <laughs> I started having the coffee. I started getting questions, and I'd be known. I ended up being known as like the guy who made like the strong coffee. But one girl goes, "Did you make the coffee this morning?" First time I've ever been asked. I go, "Yeah, I made it this morning." She goes, oh, "Man, that was super strong." And like she goes, it, "It basically would stand up on its own." I said, "It'd be good for you. Put hair on your chest." <laughs> <laughs> and then like if anybody had it, they just were like, "Oh, that's crazy strong." <laughs> and what's so funny is uh, the other guy wouldn't make the coffee. Um, because he didn't know he didn't he didn't he couldn't figure out how I made it as strong as I did, you know. So you're supposed to if you read the instructions, you put so many cup like so many scoops, uh-huh. right? Yeah, I, I didn't count scoops. I would pour. <laughs> <laughs> I would pour it in there till it looked about, and I'd get it about the same every time. And then I would take the little scoop and I'd smooth it out. <laughs> I mean, it was and it was a lot, but it would be you couldn't see through it. It was black. I mean, it was super super dark. But they'd make it. It was almost. It reminded me of tea when they would make coffee. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. you could your coffee's not supposed to be light brown. It's supposed to be yep. black. <laughs> the dark <Right>. of night. <laughs> yep. Yeah. But yeah, I think it'd be fun. Now I think I already know who will win like pretty easily. But who do you think will win? McDonald's. I don't think it's gonna be even close. I will be honest with you. McDonald's is the only person or only fast food place I've ever ordered coffee from. Mm. Now again, I feel like we're doing an injustice if we're doing coffee as well, though, because you're gonna have cold coffee. That's fine. You don't like cold coffee? Now, no. you can reheat coffee too, and that does not take down the, the taste of it at all. I feel like it would a little bit, but maybe not. Or um, we can. I think I think we're just gonna have to go. We can reheat okay. it or do yeah, it that's cold, fine. but. But I'm in, yeah, for yeah. sure. It'd be fun. Be cool. Are we gonna the, do it here? Yeah, guess so. We yeah. can do it in in their yeah. table. That'd be cool. Use my lav mic. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're gonna uh, try to set up a couple couple recordings so we have a couple different angles, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it'd be fun. It'd be cool. Hey, I think we'll have to like rank them and try to like judge them. It'd be hard to remember yeah. after. If we have that many burgers, it'd be hard to remember, I feel like, what the first one was Excuse like. Excuse me. That uh, was loud. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll have to... I think those two will have to be separate. Well, because you have to get coffee yes. in the morning anyway. Yeah, so. for sure. For sure. Yeah. But I, I think the it'll be hard to remember, though. Like, if we have... 
I mean, how many burgers is that? Right? It's a, it's a lot. Well, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. Seven? Seven or eight. It's going to be hard. Time, eight, yeah, time, eight. Time you get Forgot. down to like the eighth one. It's like, all right, what's the first one again? All right. <laughs> so it's like, take it by the first one again. Like, Yeah. It'll be it'll, fun. It'll be fun, yeah. It'll be cool. Get some good food. <laughs> I'm hungry now. Yeah, same, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I've been thinking about where I'm going to go after this. <laughs> mm. I think mom made dinner, though, so. Sounds like Dairy Queen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to call her and be like, is there food for me? <laughs> she... Did you make enough for me? I still live in the house, right? <laughs> she says yes. I'm still going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We'll throw it out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I guess we'll. Well, hopefully this is not on the podcast. <laughs> this has just been a long rambling about <laughs> burgers for way too long. <laughs> Who cares about audience retention? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, they probably checked out way before this point anyway. Exactly, yeah. If anyone did make it this far, uh, right? it's probably someone like listening to audio version and they're like half asleep. They probably are asleep right now. <laughs> Wake up. Wake up. You have to pee really, really bad. <laughs> <laughs>